moment. Oh, I'm going out to dinner with some like business friends, I guess. So I need to get ready for something business appropriate, but like they know what I love to do. So I kind of want to do something cool with my makeup. Uh, cool with my makeup, um, but also that like not something too crazy. Oh, I need to moisturize my face, and I feel like something's not right with this camera. Is that better? I don't know. But I definitely need to moisturize. I'm kind of red. I've been swimming, like, a lot lately, so. Um, yeah. And eye cream, of course. So does anyone know when IMATS is going to be next year? If you do, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I think I'm going to do mess. I mean, I think I'm going to do my face last. Because it is so hot in here. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry if you can hear the fan, but it needs to be on. Um... So as far as my eyes go, I have not a clue what I want to do, but my eyes, sometimes during the summer, they look r brighter than they typically do. So I want to play that up, I think. But I don't know with what. Okay. That's not it. That's it. Um. Okay. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of an intense conversation. Um, so I'm, as a base, I think I'm going to put this Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Branded. Just gonna put it all over. It is such a nice color. It's so shimmery, it's so pretty. I love it. And then right above my brow, I, I'm gonna use a concealer stick and I'm gonna line right underneath my brows just to define them a little more and then on my brow bone I'm going to put high brow which is a brow lift by benefit it's a pink toned color so It really makes a difference, in my opinion. Okay, so like that. And then, first I need to moisturize my lips. I live in Arizona, and with that being said, it's like really, when you lay outside or when you swim, you feel like your lips burn, kinda, so. So, 
with my Naked 2 palette, I'm going to put Half Baked all over my lid with a MAC 252. I think it's, like, Half Baked is definitely one of my favorite shades by Urban Decay, hands down. Um, and then just as a, like, transition color, I'm going to use, um, Tease. This pretty light. If you look at where I'm holding my brush, I'm holding it at the very end so it's the lightest hand. The closer you hold it, the harder you apply it. And really, I just want a shadow, so. Um, I don't even know what I want to do. I think I want to put pistol in. Uh, yeah, I think I want to put pistol in, which is like a silver gray. Yeah, I'll, and I'm just going to put that at the outer corner. I like that. It's cute. Um, and then what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna take this eyeliner brush, but not I'm not taking that one. I'm taking this eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna take uh, busted and smudge that into my upper lash line. And I'm going to, I guess, use it as an eyeliner. Like, so, just like smudging it. And do the same thing to the other eye. Well, thank goodness that my other battery was charged. I wouldn't have been able to finish this. Um, I have three batteries, but typically I'm lazy and I charge all of them at once and then I use all of them up without charging the next one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add some more of Busted but like 
smoked out on my upper lash line right at the outer corner like that um and I'm going to spray that with some uh, de-slick. As well as my whole face. Um, and then I'm going to apply mascara. Typically I curl one side at a time. I almost poke myself in the eyeball. I love this mascara, it's my MAC. I'm getting my braces off like within like two months, I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm gonna, I, I curled them frontwards, and when I do that, it makes them stand straight out, and I let them dry a little bit before I put, put like, put them up with more mascara. Well, that side's drying, I will do this side. I'm putting some of 40 down, and actually, I kind of think this may be too light. Awesome. Well, that's great. And then I'm taking some of 35. Wait, 35 looks, looks darker than 40. What the heck? Yeah, 35 looks darker than 40. Explain, please. If anybody knows why that is, I'd love to know. Putting that all over my face. I've only used these twice before. But when I used it, I kind of fell in love. So taking my Sigma F80 Flat Tub Kabuki, I'm just going to stipple that right into my skin. Okay, awesome. And it, does, it doesn't match my face, but it definitely matches my neck and my body. But still, I don't understand why the smaller number is lighter than the darker number. Okay, and then I'm going in whew, with my CoverGirl and Olay um, concealer and doing very dramatic highlight.
and my beauty blender is not wet so I'm going to be using my Sigma F86 brush to blend it out as you can see it's pretty white and I'm going to spray Fixed Plus to try to moisten it a little bit. And I know not everybody likes this really, really bright white highlight. And you know I'm not I'm not telling you that you have to by any means. It's just what I like to each their own. And I highlight the other places on my face. And I'm just going to continue blending it out until it is the consistency and the color that I want. Oh, my nose ring came out. And then I'm taking my foundation brush and will blend out the other areas that I highlighted. And then to add just a teensy weensy bit of color, I'm taking my Maybelline concealer and we'll blend that out with my finger. And so it looks pretty bright. Um, I'm going to take my under eye, you know, um, powder and powder that up. And that like, you know, makes a really great color. And then I'm going to go for extra, extra mumbo jumbo coverage and take my NYX matte but not flat powder foundation and buff that in. Just on my apples to get a little color in there. As far as my highlight goes, I'm taking NARS's Albatross and highlighting my high points. And then I'll take my hair down. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was fun for me to make. Um, just let me know what you guys like. If you like more tutorials or like chit chat videos. I think I kind of combined two in one for this one. Um, just know that I'm very grateful for everyone who does subscribe and watch. It definitely means a lot to me. Um, some I've had a couple people unsubscribe. I don't know who they are. But that's all your choice. But just know that subscribing is free. And it helps a lot. And 
you know, liking the video is free as well, and it really helps a lot as well. So please do what you can, and I'm very grateful for all my, you know, subscribers that watch all the time and comment and like them. I'm very, very grateful for that. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.